Welcome to the first episode of Yes for the Mess. What's going on you guys? This be your boy Scotty and this would normally be a rant video. It's still a rant video but it's under a different type of title and it's called Yes for the Mess and this is where we talk about all hot topics. Nothing but hot topics that's going on in the blogs right now. Now apparently it ain't really much going on in the blogs right now. All we're doing is talking about you know that shit that's going on out there and you know we can't talk about it because you know they're trying to demonetize and I ain't got time for them to be trying to take my coin. So we're going to get right on to what the hell we need to talk about now shall we? Hello! did a live with a blogger by the name of Straight From The A, a.k.a. Michelle Brown. Him and Peter Thomas, Cynthia's ex-husband, went live with her and he talked quite a bit about Candy, Todd, and um, Phaedra Parks, okay? So I decided to come up in here and give y'all my opinion on it. I might play some of the videos for y'all just so y'all can hear what he got to say. But first off, we're gonna, we gonna get my little phone out and we're gonna talk about, um... I'm going to play one of these videos for y'all, so just give me a second. Okay, now the first one I'm going to play is the video of him calling out Todd and Candy. So let's play it right quick. That's Tommy. That's Tommy, Peter. What, what, what about it? Did you get what? your stuff out of Candy's garage? That's what they want to do. No, the feds got that shit, man. They, they sold me out, man. Come on, man. They weren't even supposed to talk oh, about this stuff. What happened to what? First of all, if I come to you like Peter... If I can't, the only reason the feds came to your house, Peter, about the old school was because Phaedra snitched on me, told them motherfuckers that he had shit at your house. You told me that the feds came to your house, right? Yo, but I moved that shit, I didn't give it to them. Right, I know, but listen, when my stuff, if I came here and said, hey, put my stuff here, it's hush hush. You ain't supposed to say nothing. You're supposed to go on national TV saying, hey, we holding this for Apollo just for a story, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. You show me. Apollo, that's, that's, that's Tommy. That's Tommy. Okay, so... What, 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 that's the first, that, that's one of the first videos. So basically he says that Candy and Todd sold him out by going on TV with the bullshit. And basically said that Phaedra snitched on him. Duh! We know that Phaedra snitched on you, nigga. We already know that. That ain't nothing, that ain't nothing new to none of us. We already know that she snitched on you. Duh! We already said that she set you up. Duh! You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, how the fuck can you be mad at Candy and Todd? Because at the end of the day, you talking about them being friends. If they were, if you were a real Real friend, you would never put your real friends into a situation where they could possibly get in trouble when they all got kids. Nigga, you the one that's the fucking criminal in this bitch. Ain't nobody obligated to protect you from any fucking thing. Because I know one goddamn thing for one and a goddamn thing for motherfucking sure. And number two, I would never, if you are in trouble with the feds, do not call my phone. I love you, brother. I love you like, I love you like a brother, but I don't want to be involved in this shit. This shit ain't got nothing to do with me. I got a life. I got shit that I'm trying to do. I got businesses. I ain't, I don't want to be a part of your fraud shit. I don't. So if you want somebody to keep your shit, you need to ask somebody else that's willing to do that fuck shit to keep your shit. I ain't got to keep your shit. Number one, and then on top of that, they kept your stuff at their house. Which ultimately led to the demise of the friendship that was Candy and Phaedra. They were trying to help your ass out when they didn't even have to. Bad enough, you know, and, and never mind Candy, Todd was the one that was your fucking friend. Not only that, you involved Todd, which in turn involves Candy. Now, Candy and Phaedra have a beef now because of you. You want to get your shit in a house, and you want to act like they're obligated to do that. You know, at the end of the day, like, no. And then on top of that, did you not think that Phaedra would be trying to, um, wouldn't be trying to put your ass out on blast or, or try to tell the feds on you? Look at the type of bitch she is. Of course she's going to do that. But at the end of the day, you really need to calm the fuck down with that bullshit because at the end of the day, ain't nobody obligated to do nothing for you. And then Peter dumb as hell because he's sitting up here talking about, oh, I didn't get him that shit. I moved that shit. Okay, so now you lied to the feds, basically. Like, why would you say that shit in the public? You know what I mean? Like, I don't... 
that shit is whack. I don't like that shit. Then you, I, I, I looked at some of the live and then I see some of the same people that have been on my videos talking about Candy Ty. Now, first, they was on Phaedra's side, but now that Apollo was calling out Candy and Ty for being not real friends, here they go. Oh, Candy and Ty are not real friends at all. What real friend would put their friend in a bind like that in the first place? If I know that I'm in trouble, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my time and whatever um shit that they need to get from me, they just gonna to have to fucking get it. I'm not gonna put that shit in nobody's house and put them at risk of going to jail. Like that's some fucked up shit. Ain't nobody got no right to be. Ain't nobody gotta gotta do that shit for you. Period. Peter got enough legal fees going on, a lot of legal trouble going on. So he, of course he was gonna do that shit for you. But they don't have to do that for you. Period. They don't. If you was a real friend, you wouldn't even put them through that bullshit. And Ty was a damn fool to help your ass out because now, in typical Scorpio fashion, you turning on him now. Now you want to talk shit about him. No. All that shit that you've caused, Apollo, with all of them. You caused all that shit. And yet and still, Candy and Todd is the ones that's looking like the bad guys in the situation. I don't see it. Apollo was the bad guy. Blame Apollo. Apollo the one who went to jail. Apollo the one who was doing the, doing the crimes, of course. So, no, I'm not even with that. Let's go to the next video. You didn't have to motherfucking know what I had. You know why? Because you was going to turn me in anyways. Listen, you wanted me to rot in prison. You didn't send one motherfucking to in the prison. Well, Let's well, not even uh, get into that. Like, I don't want to get, like, get right hey, into it. Okay, so basically he said that Phaedra wanted him to rot in prison. And that she didn't send him a dime while he was in prison. Why would she send you a dime while you're in prison? Don't you already got a bitch? Shouldn't she, shouldn't she be the one to send you a dime in prison? Phaedra ain't got to send you shit. She's not married to you anymore. So why the fuck would she need to send you anything? You're out of jail at this point, nigga. You should be somewhere trying to have a relationship with your fucking kids. But instead, you're getting yourself on blogs with, uh, you know, getting yourself on lives with other bloggers. You know what I'm saying? Trying to... Tell somebody else to fuck down because you mad. You sit up here trying to tear down your baby mama ex-wife because you mad because you feel like she set you up, which I believe that she did. You sit up here mad with Candy and Ty because you feel like they sold you the fuck out when all of this was your fault. You're the one who was doing the racketeering. You're the one who was doing all the fraud shit that got you in trouble the last time. You're the one who can't stay the fuck out of jail. So why the fuck would Phaedra need to send you a damn pack of oodles and noodles or 10 cents? You had a bitch to do that. So why the fuck would she send you that? And... It wouldn't be right if I didn't call Phaedra out on her shit. Let me just say this about Phaedra and then I'm going to be done with this video. Baby, you already knew what type of nigga you had when you got with him. According to Angela Stanton, Stanton I, I read that book. You already knew what type of nigga he was. He was with you from the very fucking beginning, okay? So you already knew what the fuck you had. As soon as he went to jail and got in trouble, that's when you wanted to just... Throw him off to the wolves. I think that that's fucked up. Now, at the end of the day, I, I should not, I'm not sitting up here blaming Apollo's struggles on you because he's a grown ass man. But don't try to wash your hands of the situation when you already knew what he was. And so now you want to be vindictive and, and have him ride in prison. You know what I mean? But at the same time, if he want to ride in prison, that's his own fault because it ain't got nothing to do with you. That's his fault. He the one who decided to go to jail. But at the end of the day, Phaedra, you took up for him, you did all of that shit, and you never apologized to certain people for some of the shit that he lied about. He been a liar, he been a fraud, and you already knew that, but yet you still stood by him. But that was your husband, though, so I can't really be mad with you about that. But at the same point in time, Apollo, you just need to grow the fuck up. You, and you need to grow the fuck up and move on. You out of jail. You're no longer in Phaedra's life. The only way you would be in her life is when it involves those two boys that you got at home. You need to be more focused on them, bonding with them, telling them not to be the same type of nigga you are. And enjoy your life with this damn bimbo that you got as a fucking girlfriend. Do that and stop worrying about Phaedra. Stop worrying about Candy and stop worrying about Ty. Stop worrying about everybody else. Because ain't nobody else worried about you. Everybody else to move on with their life and doing what the fuck they need to do. You need to do the same. And that's all I got to say for yes for the mess. Whatever um is in the blogs that you want me to talk about, be sure to send it to my Instagram or my email. Do it that way and then I'll talk to you guys later. With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace out.